어? 어. 안녕하십니까 <웃음> EMBL 포럼의 박영숙입니다 오늘 캐롤 선생님을 모시고 캐롤 선생님은 사우디아라비아에서 오랫동안 그 How many years you been here? Five years. Five years. 5년 동안 거기 세계에서 가장 큰 여자 대학교에서 영어 교수를 하셨습니다. 어, 오늘은 사우디아라비아의 문화하고 우리나라 문화 또는 뭐 서양 문화와의 차이점에 대해서 좀 알아보겠습니다. So let's talk about these cultural differences, differences. Oh. in Saudi Arabia. Right, right. Mm. Well, a lot of it is related to religion, but a lot of it is practical as well, I found. Mm. And um, mm. I found it more moderate than I thought. And um, for example, uh, knowing that foreigners don't have the same culture, um, you know, we are uh, given a lot of, uh, well, like in Korea too, uh, if we make mistakes, we're not really, <laughs> you know, we're kind of quietly told, you know, this is not, I mean, you know, uh, uh, for example, um, actually uh, men are not allowed to talk to women uh, more than a minute or anyway there's a time frame with it these are women they don't know but maybe they're giving directions to or uh, even uh, 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 they're salespeople in in the mall in Saudi Arabia so uh, there are strict rules and uh, some of the reasons go back historically um, you know to protect women and and uh, save face and uh, women are part of the family and uh, there's still a, a strong feeling that uh, you know that that the the men in the family even if they're younger than the sisters are protecting them and uh, uh, mm -hmm. so other men are not allowed to unless their husbands uh, not allowed to really uh, talk to um, young ladies. Uh, mm -hmm. Children can mix up to about 10, age 10, mm -hmm. but after that people are separated into male and female groups and through middle school and high school uh, they're separated and uh, but at home of course they're <laughs> you know the, the kids actually the, there are different rooms mm -hmm. for uh, uh, the husband and his friends and the wife and her friends and uh, it's interesting oh, that it's way. Yeah, yeah, so very interesting. Yeah, very interesting. <laughs> Who knew? Yeah. So, you know, we had a similar thing. We ah. said, you know, uh, after seven, mm. after seven, you know, boys and girls do not go together. Ah. Oh, yeah. That was old days. Oh, that yeah. was a Lee Lee dynasty, you know, right. Lee dynasty. <laughs> Yeah, a while back. Yeah, you were Probably back. was yeah, in the US back. too, but yes, way back. Yeah, way back. So, some so, traditions. Oh, some traditions. Uh, Saudi Arabia is not a man, a man, a man, a man, Uh, 백화점 같은데 세일즈 우먼한테도 그렇게 오랫동안 이야기를 못 한다고 합니다. 그리고 그게 이제 아마 여성 보호 어, 부모님 뭐 집안에 아들이 있고 어, 누나가 있으면은 아들이 더 이제 누나를 보호하는 이런 식으로 어, 남자에게 많은 짐을 지어지는 이런 그거 열세 이상이 되면 반드시 남자하고 여자하고 학교도 달리 가고 뭐 모든 것을 따로 따로 구분을 해서 한다. 라고 이야기를 합니다. That, that's very interesting. Yeah. So if they go to a department stores, mm. you know, they, the, the girls are sales with ladies, right? Right. Yeah, the sales then, ladies and, are the most yeah. helpful. Yeah, and they wear um, mm. a headscarf, head usually. Scarf. But that interested me too. Mm -hmm. uh, do all Muslims have to wear headscarves? And my friends, my UK friends in England, said no, people in England don't, it's, mm -hmm. it's a choice. And uh, similarly in Saudi Arabia, it depends on the family um, and the tribe that you're from. Mm -hmm. If it's a tribal rule that you wear the headscarf, actually in, in public you have to, it's a law because of the um, religious, um, there's so much, uh, uh, because it's uh, the homeland of Muhammad and uh, there's so many, uh, Uh, religious um, mm -hmm. um, models mm -hmm. that Saudi Arabia is mm -hmm. supposed to uh, uh, also work closely with, even though it mm -hmm. has a, uh, it is a kingdom mm -hmm. and uh, it has a government mm -hmm. that is not really 
not really religious, but it shares power mm -hmm. with the religious leaders mm -hmm. of the Quran. Yeah, and, and, uh, oh. There's a lot of prayer, but people are really humble and quite faithful, I've found, and they, they don't uh, push things on people generally, mm -hmm. you know, so I appreciated that. But living in Saudi Arabia as a, a Western female, I felt, uh, and at a university uh, also living there, uh, I had to conform to those rules. So basically, mm -hmm. even though I'm not technically a Muslim, I lived as a Muslim woman. I covered my head when I went out. I wore an abaya, that's the, the uh, cloak. And, but only when I went out. In my house, I could take it off. In a girl's school, we don't need that. But modesty is best. No mm -hmm. see-through clothes. You know, and actually, it makes sense anywhere mm -hmm. when you think about <laughs> some of the Western advertising that is really exploiting uh, mm -hmm. women's bodies. I think, uh, but you know, I mean, we can turn it off. But uh, mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, yeah. I, I understand that, and mm -hmm. it made sense to me. So I didn't it, feel it was good. 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 행사장이라나 공식 석상에서는 이제 어 여성들이 헤드스카프를 뭐 대부분 하고 있고요. 에 다양한 족뭐 우리 우리나라도 뭐 이렇게 만약에 뭐 백제 사람들 아니면 고구려 사람들처럼 이렇게 어 여러 민족에 따라서 사우디아라비아에도 여러 족이 있어요. 어 추장 뭐 족장 이런 시대로 가면은 어떤 집안들은 이렇게 헤드스카프를 안 해도 되고요. 어 모슬림처럼 이그 지금 캐럴싱 님은 모슬림처럼 뭐 머리를 쓰고 뭐다 같이 이렇게 입고 가고 특히 머리 안 감았을 때는 스카프를 쓴다 이렇게 이야기했어요. 그래서 그렇게 하면서 아마 여성들이 저 서구의 여성들이 너무 뭐 몸을 드러내고 이렇게 하는 것보다는 굉장히 아주 존경스러운 그런 모습이었다 이렇게 하는데 So those people yeah. uh, wearing headscarves, mm. do they do form? They oh, underneath, <laughs> sometimes their hair is beautiful underneath, it could be short, could be long, you don't know. Uh, one of the things with that, but in public, right, you don't know, and there are very many styles uh, ways to fold the headscarf to make it look really elegant, you know, mm -hmm. and people wear sometimes turbans mm -hmm. in, in lieu instead of the um, headscarf, mm -hmm. and that were mm -hmm. beautiful. And also the, you know, liquor. Liquor is uh, a right. very well. It's banned in banned. Right, Saudi Arabia, but mm -hmm. there are some Arab countries where it's not banned, like Bahrain, which is the neighboring country. And mm -hmm. uh, so, um, but uh, that's uh, part of uh, that is part related to more to religion. So therefore, they aren't any uh, you know alcoholics on the street or anything. Right, like that. you don't see you that. Don't see no. that. But also remember, it is the desert, mm -hmm. so often the climate is very harsh. It's up in the forties, forty three, mm -hmm. and in the summer it can go up to fifty. Mm -hmm. So people are rushing in and out. Uh, I think it would be hard for an alcoholic to survive there. Mm -hmm. um, uh, if you know, they, I don't know. Maybe mm -hmm. they're hidden, hid away. <laughs> but I haven't seen any yeah, on the streets, or yeah, there are yeah. no bars, as you mm -hmm. said. So. Yeah, bar, 같은 것도 없고 술 마시는 데도 없고 그래서 결국은 우리나라 뭐 서양에서처럼 어저 알코올 중독자는 본 적이 없답니다. 그리고 알코올 중독자가 이제 거리에 주로 막 누워 있거나 그렇죠 우리나라는 서울역 같은데 여기는 날씨가 더워서요 50도까지 올라가고 43도까지 올라가는데 길에 누워 있을 수가 없답니다. 그래서 알코올 중독자는 지금까지 본 적이 없고요. What are the most interesting sort of cultural differences? Oh. Did you think of in uh, Saudi Arabia? Okay, Saudi, I think Saudi. part of it is related to uh, family structure and also, um, uh, but I mean, where people go to have a community to uh, the shopping malls because there are big spaces for children to play and playgrounds. 
and and uh, restaurants of all sorts of international restaurants there were, were, was really exciting. Actually, you can get Korean food there. I did, and mm. it's quite good. It's run by Koreans, wow. and <laughs> oh, really? you know, yeah. downtown mm. uh, near the business hub in Riyadh. I lived mostly in Riyadh, although I did travel a little bit with with some. Uh, so are tours. those family structures, I mean, mm. those men can marry mm. more Oh, women? right, right, right. But there are conditions. Monogamy. So you can, you can marry uh, three women, but you have to be able to provide separate houses for them, and they have to be happy, supposedly. And so there are a lot of rules that go with it. And this is a, a system, a traditional system. Um, People have grown up in that tradition. Not everybody does it. I had friends who, uh, you know, uh, um, had you know their husband had only one wife. That was more the norm. Uh, but it, there were others that, if they had enough money and uh, you know it was agree, agree. Actually, the women needed to agree on it. Uh, and then there were certain things also uh, having a son, an heir is important so you know that's one of the reasons too um so yeah yeah that's uh, uh, they're they're too they are looking for sun <laughs> right right you know days right. in korea korea too, was the same was yeah the same. probably in the nowadays West nowadays well. nowadays in the <laughs> yeah nowadays things yeah, are changing more, yeah we want more girls rather than daughters rather than boys you know sons mm. because the daughters <laughs> are more helpful oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, when you get old, you know, your girls help you out. Ah, right, right. Yeah. right. You so know, boys just go one. away, you know, get married to another woman. That's a... Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. Oh. 그 보면은 Saudi Arabia에서는 부자들에게는 법으로 그죠 이 보통 일, 일반적으로 3인 세 명과 결혼할 수 있게 돼 있는데 세 사람이 다 이제 동의를 해야 되고. 또세 사람에게 집을 따로 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 다 해줘야 되기 때문에 어 우선은 부자들만 이렇게 세 명씩 하고 그것도 요즘에는 보면 거의 대부분 한 사람하고 결혼을 한다 현재는 그렇다 그렇지만 그게 아직까지 아들이 중요하다 어 son is more important <웃음> <웃음> so how many children do they have here in Korea it's only one you know ah, nowadays right yeah, uh, because one. a yeah. smaller nuclear yeah. family and mm -hmm. modernization mm -hmm. yes. Right. No, I mean, so uh, yeah, typically it's more like uh, four to six wow, or okay. more even. I had a friend, well, it's not just Saudi Arabia either. I have a good friend, a uh, Muslim in New York, and she has 24 brothers and sisters. Wow. So yeah, and they're all very helpful to each other. It depends. If it works, it looks like it really works and uh, vice versa. If people are not taking care of each other, it, it won't work. So, mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of, and also face is very important. So, you know, there's a lot of social um, pressure to mm -hmm. make your family life the best that yeah. you can do. Mm -hmm. Actually, I was very impressed. Teenage boys I saw helping their mother with the groceries and uh, you don't see that too much in the U.S. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, they will, they, they will uh, help you know, get the groceries for us in the U.S., but they they often don't want to be seen with their mothers, uh, the independence thing. But uh, you know, mm -hmm. they're fine at home. It's just a different culture. What what to do outside versus inside? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So. Saudi Arabia is an it's a shikdeni. Shikden amzai deri omma tara gaso supoe gaso mulgon sagajigo grocery 이런 걸 같이 들고 온답니다. 미국에서는 그렇게 하면 마마스 보이 뭐 이런 <웃음> 얘기들이 <웃음> yes. so they don't want to do it in the United States. Exactly. <웃음> 엄마하고 시장 가서 엄마 물건 안 들어줘요. 미국 아이들은 그죠. 어 마마스 보이 소리 듣는다고. 근데 사우디아라비아에서는 주로 아들이 따라가서 엄마 물건 같이 들고 오고 아주 도움을 많이 주고 또 뉴욕에서는 24명의 어 형제들을 가지고 있는 이런 아랍 친구가 한 사람 있었답니다. 사우디인은 네명 내지 다섯 명, 여섯 명 정도 아이들을 지금 현재 낳고 있다라고 이야기를 합니다. That's very interesting. That is interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So well, one other thing, I was uh, since you mentioned uh, family, is uh, there's quite a lot of people uh, keep with their grandparents in their home, mm. and or many grandparents, and so there's a there's a real relationship between. The, the generations 
mm -hmm. still. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, that mm -hmm. was quite beautiful. And people are really involved and uh, don't put people in an old folks home. And so it was a, mm -hmm. actually a very inclusive mm -hmm. family structure oh, that exactly. I saw. And I would have known more had I been a Muslim, I realized, a full Muslim, because even though I sort of mimicked Muslims because you must adapt to wherever you are, mm -hmm. I think, and there was nothing uh, nothing wrong with that. Uh, mm -hmm. There were good customs that I could see. This It's a wonderful thing to pray and uh, go out with uh, friends. And, mm -hmm. so. Oh, Saudi is a lot of people who live in the world. The Mubun Samde, Harman Harabuzi, Omuni Abuzi, and the other people who live in the world. The other people who live in the world are very good. They 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 are very good. So, when they get married, are they, do they have a matchmakers and how do they get married? Do they, because they are in right. different sort of right. uh, locations, right? right. Different schools. Well, you would guess it is uh, matchmaking. So a lot of people do that way. But nowadays, things are changing. So uh, young men and women, they can be... Usually, the someone in the family, a brother or sister, will introduce them. And there are groups that meet, like, you know, groups of family and friends. Similar, it used to be like this in Korea 10, mm -hmm. 20 years ago. I'm not really mm -hmm. sure what's happening now, but uh, and it uh, there's also uh, online the way people meet. Um, uh, I was um, I, I was invited to a wedding um, a couple of times, and uh, the first one was uh, a love marriage, and uh, um, the, uh, the the young man's uh, family, um, his mom was a Muslim from uh, Los Angeles, actually, and uh, met uh, her husband while they were studying in, in the U.S., while he was studying in the U.S., and she was also a student. And then the families met and decided whether that could happen, and then they married. And similarly, <laughs> I think also there, there's a lot of romantics there and uh, like the movies, um, uh, she's got mail. Uh, that uh, people uh, just love that and uh, feel that uh, true love, you know, does happen. And uh, anyway, um, the wedding that I attended, uh, the um, uh, young man and woman had uh, actually corresponded. They'd written letters to each other mm -hmm. uh, online for uh, you know a couple of years. And, uh, and then uh, told family members, fr uh, sisters, brothers, uh, aunts, uncles, and then their parents. And finally, when everybody saw everybody and agreed, um, I'm not sure of all that, but it, it was a modern kind of, uh, and yet it also had some elements of uh, matchmaking in it and traditional matchmaking to, you know, <laughs> since that had to be approved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 어, 그 모슬람 문화 같은 데도 아직까지 중매 이런 게 많고 특히 젊은 층들은 요즘에 친구 소개 뭐 가족들 소개로 많이 만나고 그죠. 뭐 영화에도 보면은 True Love 이런 것도 있고 뭐 굉장히 다양한 이렇게 에, 아주 어, 남녀를 아주 따로 떼어놓는 이런 문화이지만 뭐 연애하고 사랑하는 건다 똑같다 온라인으로 어, 편지로서 연애해가지고 결혼한 사람도 봤다 뭐 이런 얘기합니다. So what do they enjoy? I mean, they cannot drink. They well, food will be nice. Mm, right, yeah, all kinds of food. 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 Uh, lots of shopping or window shopping. Um, uh, what else are they doing? Um, well, I mean, people, when the weather cools down in the winter, uh, families go out, uh, have barbecues. Even in the city, they'll find an empty space. Mm. The desert is, is really immense and spread mm. out. And uh, the family would just bring their, burner, uh, their uh, barbecue equipment mm. and uh, some light carpets to sit on and set up and mm. cook. Uh, actually, around the perimeter of my university, <laughs> that mm -hmm. was common when the weather mm -hmm. was right and it cooled oh, down. Okay. And it seemed strange to a Westerner, like, mm -hmm. 
you know, why are they doing that in the city in front of the school? But actually, it was mm -hmm. easy to do. It had good lighting. Mm -hmm. uh, it was there were uh -huh. some practical reasons. Okay, so they eat meat. <laughs> oh kind yeah, of meat? Uh, no, uh, no pork. Oh, uh, okay. But uh, other meats, yeah. Uh, beef. <laughs> so we go. Like beef in India, you know, they don't eat. Beef. Right, <laughs> right, right. So there's something so, uh, pork. Uh, 돼지고기만 안 먹고 나머지 뭐 대부분의 고기 they eat chicken and uh, beef, beef um, and eggs, ducks. right? Yeah, yeah. quails, quail mm -hmm. eggs. Mm -hmm. um, not so much duck. It's more mutton and beef. Ah, uh, 양을 양을 Lots 많이 먹는답니다. 양고기를 mm -hmm. 많이 먹고 그리고 닭고기 많이 먹고 그죠? Many vegetables. Yeah. Lots of vegetables. Uh -huh. So. But uh, traditional uh, cooking a lot has a lot of sugars in it too, mm. and unfortunately, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like yeah. most places, yeah. traditional cooking does. Uh -huh. so, so who does the cooking? Like uh, uh, mothers or men do their cooking? Uh, it depends. I think these days the men are learning, especially since uh, they're encouraged to go abroad and get degrees, so they have to take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. So they're quite proud of being able to uh, have had uh, uh, young men with uh, part-time job, Uber driving, and uh, they um, would tell me that, yes, we had to learn to cook because um, mm -hmm. oh, you know, okay. their, their plan is mm -hmm. to be independent yeah. and yes. want, be able to travel, and how can they make their food if, mm -hmm. You know, if they're yet too young, they haven't married yet, and so there's this. But generally, it's the the wives that do that. Yeah, 일반적으로는 엄마가 요리를 하고요. 하지만 해외 유학할 때 이제 남자들도 나가가지고 자취하고 하니까 요리를 잘하고 요즘에 젊은 아이들은 또 요리도 많이 한다라고 하네요. So I think that that's very interesting. Oh, yeah, thank we, you. We could talk I about, think too. You know. <laughs> Yes, okay, I think it's about time now oh, to say goodbye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.